Welcome back. We are here looking at the indices and the big tech stocks, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, January 20, 2022. If you like to support our channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button to, be, to support this channel, and you're very welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. And yet again, today we're down 0.35% at this current stage. We have broken below the 100 moving average. Uh, that is probably not that significant because we did also break significantly down below the 100 moving average back in September last year and also in October and also mid-October. Uh, but the 100 moving average has been supportive in uh, November, end of November and also in December and we basically bounced from that. But we are not bouncing from that at this current stage. It doesn't really mean that we are going to fall apart here. Uh, definitely that... Uh, the change in monetary policies from the Fed that it will definitely affect this market, but uh, there's still a chance that that uh, buying on the dips is going to be a strategy going forward. We're still in an uptrend. There's nothing really changed in that uptrend. This was basically a break of the trend, but since then we have basically been bouncing off the hundred, the hundred and fifty, the fifty moving average, and so on, and. This could just be one of those cases where we bounce off the 150 moving average. But still, uh, this is not going to be the same as 2020 and 2021, where every single time we have a dip, the Fed comes in and basically helps this market. That is not going to be the case. And now uh, companies that are have really good balance sheets and have really good earnings, those will prosper and uh, the rest will not. And there are a heck of a lot of companies that has, have been growing um, substantially and don't really have very good balance sheets. And so um, those companies uh, are probably going to struggle uh, this year. But what we're looking at at the current stage is 150 moving average is right here. And that is a very interesting uh, level because that's the previous highs here in September. Um, that is the previous lows here in November. Uh, also very close to the previous lows here in, in December. And it's also where we find uh, 4,500, which should be massive support going forward. We may get there uh, probably this week or in next week uh, if we don't basically rally from where we are at this current stage. Uh, but at that point, we'll be significantly oversold and we'll definitely get a bounce from uh, 4,500 level. That will definitely be a level that people will be uh, focusing, on, focusing on. If we drop below that, then we have the 200 moving average right underneath here at 4,436. So this is going to be the level that I will be focusing on. And it's going to be interesting what, the, what will basically happen there. If you look at other technical indicators, we can see the MACD is very bearish. The RSI is very bearish and oversold at this point. CCI is significantly bearish. The stochastic is bearish. And also we are at the bottom of the Bollinger Band. So it is basically 4,500 that uh, I'm keeping an eye at at the moment. If you get a really good bounce from there, then it's uh, likely that we'll continue with this trend, like similar to what we have seen here. If the bounce comes early, like it did right here, uh, then that is a very good indication that this will go higher. Break below here, 200 moving average, and then all the way down to roughly 4,200. After that, it goes really fast. And then you can basically talk about uh, trend change. So if we look at the NASDAQ, it has been all over the place today. And uh, also here, 15,000 is uh, the level that I'm looking uh, forward to because uh, that is where we find a lot of uh, of, uh, of support in the past. That's also where we find the 200 moving average. And of course, 15,000 is, is a very round number. And usually the, the markets here really like round numbers. It has been struggling to break down. So there are buyers here, but still every time it has rallied, it has found resistant and has broken down again. So we're down only 0 0.11 at this current stage, but it has been a really, really choppy day. It has been all over the place. It did look really good at one point when it rallied to 15,400, but now we're basically in the red yet again. So this has been battered at this current stage from the very highest to where we are at the moment. It is down 9.41%. And uh, if we go all the way down to roughly 15,000, 
and then we will be down roughly 10.66%. And usually a correction is 10%, 15%, and then you have the big breakdowns of 25 uh, over 30, 50, and then, and then the crises of 70 and 90 and so on. But at this point, if you look at, if you go way back, we can see that we have also uh, been here before. We broke down significantly here. This was a breakdown of roughly uh, 12%. And this was a breakdown of roughly 9.9%, uh, and this was also a breakdown of 10%. So these breakdowns of 10% we have seen in the past. People wait for them, and then they buy it, basically the dips. So if we break below 15,000, then the 300 moving average comes into play, and then after that, we'll probably have complete Armageddon in this market. But the big uh, companies that are holding this uh, market up those are also the ones that are earning the most and have very good earnings, very good balance sheets. And as long as that is the case and they are not selling at this moment, then this market will most likely continue going higher or just going sideways. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD, it is bearish. The RSI is also bearish and significantly oversold. CCI is bearish, stochastic is bearish, and the bullish band, we're basically at the very bottom here. So if we were to rally, then 15,500 or the uh, 15,400 give or take, uh, which is 150 moving average should offer resistance. The same goes for the 100 moving average up here at 15,700. So it will be, if we change direction here, it will be a massive grind to the upside and it will not just be one or two days. It will be probably weeks or months in order to go back to these uh, very highs. There's uh, another case to be wanted that we'll probably won't have the similar growth that we saw back in 2020 or 2021. Uh, it may well be that we'll see growth this year, but it will be a much, uh, it'll take much longer to go back to those highs. So probably this may well be the very lows of the year. And this angle here of the growth rate will most likely just go a little bit sideways but but there will still be growth um other scenario is that this market completely falls apart i don't think that is going to be the case because i don't think that the fed the federal reserve will want um this market to basically fall apart every single time it has tried to fall apart they have st basically stepped in and saved this market but for long-term pullbacks if we were to pull back significantly you can see the first Fibonacci retracement is right here, just above the 300 moving average. Then we see the next one right here, roughly at 12,000 give or take. This is uh, 13,000. Then we have the 50 down here at 11,700. And then 61 is right here. And this is probably as far as this market will go. And that is 10,000. After that, if that breaks, then we're looking at going back to these levels. And then we should basically have a massive crisis in the economy in general if we go to those levels and i don't think uh, that that is going to happen so uh, tomorrow and also on friday will be definitely really interesting to basically see what uh, if we have a bounce from this if we do then it's very likely that we'll go back to the highs but it will be a massive grind if you look at a big tech stocks we can see that amazon is uh, is basically down Facebook is up roughly 1.5%. Tesla is down, Microsoft is up, Netflix up, and Apple and Google and so on. So I basically um, sold most of the stocks that I had and I basically gone more, uh, uh, more safe and basically put it into companies that I know have really good balance sheets and are going to perform. Probably not as good as in 2020 and 2021, but uh, they will have a good year at the end of the year. So Facebook, Microsoft, um, um, Google are some of the names that I have been bought, uh, have been buying um, and have also been falling substantially, like Adobe, for example, has also fallen substantially and is a really, really good company. But uh, Amazon, for example, is down roughly 16% from its highs. It is basically uh, at the very bottom of uh, this uh, square, which is, it has been trading in for a very, very long time. 
Technical indicators for this are very bearish indeed. And if we break below here, then this could definitely fall significantly lower. If we turn around, then it's more likely that we'll go back to the very highs. If you look at Facebook, for example, yes, there, Facebook, for example, it has been find the uh, has been found uh, finding massive support at the uh, 300 moving average and has basically bounced from the 300 moving average yet again. But we every time it gets to 352, it runs into massive resistance. So it may well be that we will go back up to the uh, to 352. If we break above here, then the very highs it will be targeted. If you look at technical indicators here, uh, well, first of all. It is at this current stage 15.25% uh, from its very highs. So these are all of these stocks have fallen uh, quite substantially and uh, wouldn't be surprised if we will see a rally in the next few weeks in most of these stocks. But Facebook, it is bearish. The MACD, the RSI is also bearish. The CCI is bearish and Stochastic is bearish as, very, as well. So if you look at Tesla, you can see that Tesla has fallen yet again. It got rejected at the 50 moving average. Looks like it's heading back towards the 100 moving average, which has offered massive support in the past. Looking at technical English, we can see that MACD is bearish, RSI is bearish, CCI is bearish, and so is the stochastic. So uh, pull back to roughly uh, 5%. That is more likely where buyers will come back in and buy this to the upside. If we break below here, then we are looking at a massive drop all the way down to $850, $60, give or take. So if you look at Microsoft, Microsoft did do really well today. It rallied roughly roughly 3% and then gave most of those gains back. We're still up 1.76%, uh, trading at 307 and uh, 100 moving average offered quite a lot of resistance, but still 350 is also massive support down here. So uh, Microsoft is down, give or take, 11.8% from its very highs. And if you look at Microsoft in general, it is a stock that just continues to grow and grow and grow. It's a very healthy company, and it's not often that you get the chance to buy this at, um, at the discount. Of course, this was a massive discount all the way down to the 300 moving average, but it's only if you look at these years, this based from 2017, and to do 2022 there have only been two occasions where you have been able to buy uh, Microsoft stock at the 300 moving average. It was in 2018 and then also 2020. So um, yes, that is a rare thing. So that's probably one of the reasons why I think that we are going to see a bounce here. If we get all the way down to the 300 moving average, I will definitely uh, be interesting in this. So if you look at Netflix, it has fallen off a cliff recently. It's down roughly 26% from its very highs and it has entered this area here, which was a previous basically a range. So we may see this go all the way down to roughly 480. That's where we found massive support in the past, but it has been significantly oversold and uh, a rally up towards the 300 moving average is kind of what I'm looking at for at this current stage. Apple is also down, but uh, finding support at the 50 moving average. If that gives away, we can have a massive drop all the way down to the 100 moving average. And if that is going to be the case, then the Nasdaq will definitely also fall. If you look at technical indicators, all of them are becoming bearish. So uh, it is probably just a matter of time before we see the where we see Apple drop as well. It's down 9% from its highs, and it could be down all the way down 14.25% uh, if it drops to the 100 moving average. And last, it is Google. We can see that it is finding support at the 200 moving average. It is not that much down, 9%, give or take. Technical indicators um, are still bearish, but it is kind of moving sideways. It has found quite a lot of support at the 200 moving average rally today and gave most of those gains back up at its current stage 0.5%. But yes, um, these are definitely the companies that are the healthiest companies and also the ones that will determine whether or not we will see a massive drop in the NASDAQ. So hope you found this helpful. You can support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, and the bell button to see our new videos. Good luck and thank you very much.